Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We're driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Let's talk Crestwood Boys Basketball. Mark Atherton, the head coach, join us. And uh, coach, another competitive Wyoming Valley Conference, another competitive District 2 AAA. But uh, you got to lace them up and play the game. And tell us about the outlook for this 2013-14 team. Well, we're real excited, John, with the Crestwood Commons this year. Uh, if I had one word to describe us, I would say experience. We have a uh, senior point guard coming back in Brady Gallagher, and he's been. He'll, this will be his third year as a starter. Chris Fazzini, uh, nice inside outside player. He's a, a three year starter, and then we have two other starters back. So certainly, uh, we'll have a lot of experience. We'll be most likely starting four seniors and a junior, and uh, then we'll be coming off the bench with a couple of young guys, um, a couple of sophomores and a junior right now, and maybe a senior also. So. We're real excited about this year's team. We have a, a little size. We have some uh, good shooters. So some good inside game going on right now. Boy, uh, AAA is loaded in District 2 this year. It's going to be an absolute dogfight. Uh, you got the, the usual sub suspects in Abington Heights, Scranton Prep. You got a, a GAR team that's feeling pretty good about themselves. Uh, way up north, Honesdale thinking they have a shot this year. And, of course, you have to be in the mix uh, with the Crestwood Comets this year as well. And, and there's a few other teams in between. But uh, when you get down to it, you still got to play the games in the preseason and the regular season to see if you can get to that point to, to earn a trip to the state playoffs if possible. Yeah, absolutely, John. I think, you know, there's a lot of parity every year. But this year, I think it's just a higher level in AAA. I mean, you have Abington Heights, which obviously everybody knows about. Um, you have, as you described, prep. And then you can't forget a team like a Redeemer who has, you know, four starters back. And I know they're feeling pretty good about their team. So it really is from top to bottom. It is a, it is a loaded district. And, it, and it's kind of a shame that this year is the year that only two teams will be making the state tournament because we have so many good teams down in district two here. Well, the Crestwood Comets, uh, look to make that move. And you mentioned the word experience and, Boy, another Fazzini back, and this is the final Fazzini in a in a long line of uh, of some young men that have been very good basketball players. But you and I have talked before; they they're good young men as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I've been very lucky and very fortunate to be able to coach all three Fazzinis, and they're all top notch kids as well as players. Um, you know, they bring so much leadership to the team, and everything they do is just such a positive influence as a as a teammate you know, as a player, as a student. So, you know, when the last one, Chris, goes, it'll be a sad day for Chris for basketball and the fact that all three young men um, have just been fantastic for our program. And, uh, and quite honestly, we've won quite a few championships with them. So it'll be a sad day. And, and uh, you know, we talk about the parents also. We always, I joke around and ask what they've done to uh, build a, have three, three boys not only gifted in, in basketball, but also very, very good young men. Mark Atherton here on the John Mandola Show, driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Mark, uh, so often you hear the expression that uh, players, you know, take on what uh, what their coaches do and on the sidelines. You kind of, for the most part, you have a pretty calm demeanor. Once in a while, you'll get a little bit excited, and you know your players kind of show that on the court. I mean, they're they're in your face on defense. They they execute on offense, but uh, trying to make sure that they're heady basketball players is always important. Making sure they keep their cool. You know, I think in practice is when I try to make it a little bit tougher on them. I know the games is it's stressful enough, but I want them to have fun. And something we always say when we break the break the huddle, we always say play hard and have fun. And, I think if you if you play hard, you know, and have fun doing it, your time uh, will, in high school will be a, will be a good time. And there's always some tough moments, um, but overall, we want them to have a really good experience with Chris basketball, and we want winning to be part of that. And I think that's important, whether it's just competitiveness or in life. So we really uh, make practice difficult for them. But when it gets to the games, I don't want them to be stressed out anymore. With you know, with me, sometimes I could just give them a look, and they know that they've kind of, you know, uh, done something wrong. But, you know, most most of them know when they make a mistake, which is a good thing that I really don't have to get on them. So I get more upset if they don't hustle or something like that. But as far as, uh, you know, keeping them cool, I, I think it's important for the head coach to keep a cold demeanor during the game. 
And uh, that cool demeanor probably uh, passed down uh, through your family. Your dad, a, a wonderful coach, and had that kind of cool demeanor uh, as a coach. And uh, I know you ran into somebody recently and, and talked to them. And they're asking some some stories about your dad and you and, and thinking about, uh, hey, a, a combination of a, a father-son, a thousand wins uh, combined, and, you know, uh, get some wins this year and maybe you could get to that mark. Yeah, I never got really excited about, you know, when, when um, you know, 100, 100 wins came my way, it really never really was something that I thought was necessary to, to put in the paper or 200 wins or even 300. But this was something when he was talking to me about, um, you know, the number of wins, it kind of did get me excited because I feel like I've been a, a strong part of my father's, you know, wins. Uh, you know, we would talk, and as I got older, even break down tape together and, and certainly he's been a huge part of my success. And so I, I think that would be something since it's combined, both he and I, that I think hitting a thousand wins would be kind of cool. And I think it's kind of um, my way of bringing him into it. And I thought, wow, that would be something that uh, might be something that I would share and, and let people know. And I think that is, that's kind of exciting. A thousand wins between my father and myself would be a pretty cool combo. Well, talking about the late Jim Atherton, who was a tremendous basketball coach, and uh, everybody knows him as a as a legend. And he had all relationships with a lot of these national guys, uh, Bobby Knight and, and people like that. And uh, you know, they talk the game of basketball, and they talk it uh, about Jim Atherton in Northeastern Pennsylvania. Of course, Mark, a lot of people have respect for what uh, he's done uh, out at Crestwood and and with the program and with the a Triple A team. And of course, uh, this year, as we mentioned, it's going to be very very competitive. Uh, Mark, as you move along here through the holidays and and you get through, uh, you know some of the tournaments that uh, that you guys like to do each and every year. Uh, what are you looking for early in the season from this Crestwood team? Because the first few weeks of camp are done already, so you get through that. And now the exhibition season will start, and you're gonna you're gonna kind of know what you're made of here early. Uh, I think right now, the next couple of days in practice, what you want to try to do with your program is. It's tighten everything up. Make sure your team is setting better screens. Make sure your team's health defense is a little better. The weak side defense is, is a little better. Everything that you're doing, and that's probably, you know, 70%, 80%, something like that. Make sure even the offense, kids are knowing, learning, but now all of a sudden they have to be executing better screens, coming off screens a little bit better. Things like that in the next couple of days we want to try to tighten up. And then when the games hit, you know, as the games go on, add a little couple wrinkles into your defense or your offense, but make sure you're also evaluating your players and seeing which player, you know, deserves more playing time, which player maybe a little less. Can you go a little deeper on your bench? And those are the kind of things during exhibition uh, season we try to, we try to develop and we try to evaluate. Well, I look forward to a, a great season for District 2. And of course, we wish you well for the Crestwood Comets this year, Mark, with an experienced team back. And uh, the fight will go on. We'll see what happens this year in all the uh, divisions, A, AA, AAA, and Quad. But I think AAA boys may be the most competitive of all. So we'll see what happens. Mark, thanks for taking some time out and joining us today. Thanks, John. I appreciate it. All right, that's Mark Atherton here on the John Mandola Show, driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.